Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about what are the difference between hot backup and cold backup in Oracle. Please remember that this topic is the most interview questions which is which is asked from any candidate who are who wants to get a new job. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to talk about the difference between hot backup and cold backup. Also, a DBA should have that uh, knowledge or logic when to have a hot backup and when to take the cold backup. So let's get started. First, hot backup. The first hot backup, the first point that you have to remember as DBA is that in hot backup, database should be up and running. Uh, to take a hot backup, the database should be up and running, so there is there will not be any impact on end users operation. This is the first point that you have to know about the hot backup. And also in the cold backup, the database should be down. Here, the database should be down to take the call backup. DBA should ask for downtime from application team and end user, also from the from the client. In order to, to take the call backup, you, a DBA also need to communicate with the application teams, also with his supervisor, and also to send email for all the end user and clients who are using your database because you're gonna ask for the downtime. So what you're gonna do, you have to shut down the application, shut down the databases and make sure that no user are connected to the database and then take the backup. So always DBA should take any kind of backup after business hours, because if you take backup during business hours, there will be background process which will cause performance issue and end users might not be able to access database. So you will face with performance issue. So I recommend all DBA, whether they're gonna take hot backup or cold backup, doesn't matter. Do it after the business hours. It's always good practice to take the backup after business hours, whether you're gonna go for hot backup or cold backup because when you are taking up a backup, imagine how much CPU you have in your server, how much memory you have, and all the application teams and the end user who are using your database, they also consume some of memory and CPU. And also your database operation is consuming some of the CPU uh, and also the performance. So what happened if you add the backup as well on those performance. So imagine there will be a loss of background process that can cause the performance issue. So I recommend all DBA that have to go for the backup after the business hours. Second uh, difference between hot backup and cold backup is in the hot backup database should be in archive log, but in the cold backup, we don't need the database to be in the archive log. What does it mean? The second thing you should keep in mind is the database should be on, in archive log. Here, I'm talking about this. When you are taking hard backup, people will ask me why database should be in archive log. When? Why database should be in archive log? when taking hard backup. This is because in cold backup, since database is up and running, still some users and end users are connected to the database and they are doing some kind of operation, such as update, insert, any kind of like operation. So if the database is not in archive log, the backup cannot be consistent backup. What happened uh, with the hard backup because database is up and running. If you take the da database in no archive log, what happened? Because lots of users are connected and they are doing some transaction and a lots of logs will be generated. So the backup will not be consistent backup. What does it mean? Consistent. 
it doesn't have all the changes all the last changes it will miss some of the operation or logs so that's why you have to make the database in archive log for the hot backup and then take a backup in in the case of call backup i said no archive log is needed because the database is already down and and there is no end users or users which are connected to the database and application so there is no transaction in the call backup always backup is consistent because there is no transaction going on so that's the that's the case that always in the hot backup you have to make the database in archive log in case of call backup all the in case of call backup all the application and database are down and no end user are connected to the database it will be consistent backup since there is no transaction so in case of call backup no need the database to be in archive log thank you so much hope this video is helpful for you if you find this video helpful please subscribe like and share this channel to your friends thank you so much and see you in the next